Richard Branson has become the first of the billionaires to launch himself into outer space. This happened just last night here in Australia, where Richard Branson, the owner of the Virgin brand, was able to launch himself into outer space using his own spaceship space plane. Now, a lot of people will say that this technically wasn't space and that he didn't actually go into orbit, which is strongly considered to be around about 100 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. But it's still a fantastic accomplishment. We should be very proud as a world that we now are finally starting a brand new space race. But interestingly enough, Jeff Bezos wasn't happy. Let's jump into it. Richard Branson has become one of the first of the three billionaires, as in Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, and Richard Branson himself, to launch himself into outer space using his own company, Virgin Galactic. Virgin Galactic uses uh, an aircraft with a space shuttle underneath it to get their space plane into a what is more accurately known as a high altitude orbit. It's not really into outer space. It's only, it's less than 100 kilometers up into orbit, but it's still very impressive um, that he's been able to create this company, which will now go on to do space tourism, space flights. And it's something that I myself personally really want to get into. I think that would be absolutely fantastic to go into orbit myself, and I'm actually quite jealous. This is what Richard Branson had to say. To all you kids down there, I was once a child with a dream, looking up to the stars. Now I'm an adult in a spaceship with lots of other wonderful adults looking down to our beautiful, beautiful Earth. To the next generation of dreamers, if we can do this, just imagine what you can do. Hey! But you see, this is where it gets a little bit crazy. Because even though Elon Musk was in the crowd there at the event in uh, California, uh, and but you see, this is where it gets a little bit crazy. Even though Elon Musk was in the crowd there at the event and Jeff Bezos through his Blue Origin uh, company, which is his rival version, said congratulations to Virgin Galactic, they also have launched a whole publicity campaign where they are pretty much going over the differences between Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin, saying that Blue Origin actually flies much higher than Virgin Galactic and technically go crosses the boundary into outer space space, that it actually uses a rocket and not a high altitude space plane, which to be fair, I think if you've watched this channel and found it and explained, you know I'm really into space planes, so I don't know why that would be seen as a red negative. And then saying that it has the largest windows in space, which is a little bit, you know, a little bit interesting. And then it also ha has an escape system for people to get out if there's an emergency, as well as having minimal ozone impact and doing 15 safe flights. But, you know, compared to like Elon Musk's SpaceX rocket, they're actually picking on the little guy here, that they don't compare themselves to SpaceX, which has launched several international flights with actual astronauts to the International Space Station using their rockets, whilst Blue Origin keeps just kind of doing test flights and still hasn't really gone into orbit. So technically, if I was to put runs on the board, I would put SpaceX at the top, followed closely by Virgin Galactic, and then Blue Origin coming in last. So it is interesting to see how that will change when Jeff Bezos does his own sort of billionaire into outer space flight, leaving Elon Musk the last person on the ground who has yet to go into orbit. But I think a more interesting thing that may happen sometime in the future will be seeing whether or not Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos or Richard Branson goes on the other's rockets just to see, you know, if they can rate them and give them different experiences and things like that. Overall though, a fantastic day for the industry, a fantastic time for everybody who's into sort of space travel, and I seriously cannot wait to see what will happen into the future. So thank you so much for watching today, and I hope to see you in the next Aviation Station video. Take care.